All right, so you can kind of see I started to put in some of my Zen tangles, okay? And and I gotta tell you, this is what I did, okay? I did exactly what I told you guys to do. I Googled Zen tangle, okay? And I got up a picture of some Zen tangle examples, same stuff that you guys have seen in class, with those little handouts, okay? And I just drew some sketches. I just practiced out the ones that I wanted to do, okay? I decided that I didn't want this one after I did it, but the other ones I capped and then I added one more, okay? So this one was right here. Haven't finished it. This one is right there. Oop, right there. This one is right here. Right? Okay. So I like I said, I have not finished putting these in, but I'm putting in uh, the patterns that I want for my Zentangles. Okay. Then when I'm done, put it in with pencil. Then what I'll do is I'll go back in with a marker or a pen or anything that's like dark. Okay, if you have a black colored pencil, that'd be great. You could even go back in with your pencil and just press harder. Okay, you can do that too. Remember, we always start off by drawing lightly in case we make mistakes. Okay, I always wanna do that. If you wanna go back in darker with a pencil, then that's fine. I am probably going to use one of these um, just because I have one. Um, my kids have been using it and hopefully it's not dead, but we use what we got, right? Okay, so you may need a little bit of looking around to find what you need, but a black pen or a marker or colored pencil would work just fine. And again, a pencil works just fine too, okay? In fact, why don't I do this in pencil? Just so you guys can see that it's no big deal if you don't have a pen, okay? All right, so as soon as I'm done putting in all my Zentangles, okay, all my patterns, when I get them all in there, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start trying to figure out how I'm going to color it. Now, we're not gonna color it today. Again, we're gonna do that next week, but you can be thinking about this the entire time, right? As you make your lines, what's gonna be next? How are you gonna color it? Be thinking about that. Be thinking several steps ahead. Okay. So for example, if, if this is a tree, do I want this tree to be green? Or do I want it to look like the fall? In which case I might make it orange or red or something. Maybe it's an apple tree. So maybe then I put some circles for apples, right? Maybe there's wind blowing here. So in that case, maybe I make a Zen tangle that just kind of looks like a wavy line, right? Maybe I put a couple of those up there. Okay, maybe it starts to look like some wind, or some clouds or something, right? Okay, this on the other side. There, right? See? Okay. Do this whatever you think is best. Okay? One thing to think to keep in mind though is that we have the ground and we have the sky, right? So the ground and the sky, you want to have some kind of separation between those two. So if you want this to be green, then I wouldn't make your sky to be green, right? So if this is grass, don't make your, your sky gr green, right? Now, sky isn't green, but this is your artwork. You can make it any way you want it, okay? So maybe you want to have a red sky or a blue sky or whatever, but don't put the same color like that right next to each other, okay? You're also going to lose that change, that difference, okay? That contrast, you're going to lose that, okay? All right. That's it for this week, and then uh, next week we will start coloring these things in and getting them ready, okay? Oh, again, you want to go back over your lines just a little bit darker um, if you feel you need to. I know with, with me, my hand a lot of times scrapes against the paper and smudges it, so a lot of times the lines I draw real lightly, I can't see very well anymore, but I was drawing a little harder than normal, okay? Good luck, and we'll see you next time, all right? All right.